327 participants. For a medium effect, okay, that's an effect we should be able to observe on our eyes, uh, you need 54 participants. When it's a one tail test, and we do it, you can see you need 45 participants. So now again, to keep in mind, if it's a one tail or a two tail test, that affects the, the sample size. Okay, just moving on now. Everything is exactly the same now, but we're going to a different a different test. In this case, we're looking at the, the independent samples t test. So let's say let's say it's a two tail test. Let's say the effect size is a medium effect again. The alpha is five percent. The achieved power that we want is ninety five percent. Okay, which means that we're willing to accept uh, failing to reject the null when we should have rejected the null uh, at five percent, which is the type one error rate. And let's say the allocation ratio. So now here, here this is asking us. This is asking us here. Uh, okay, you've got two samples. Are the samples uh, the same size? In which case the allocation ratio would be one because sample size two divided by sample size one would be equal to one because they're the same size. So if the allocation uh, ratio is the same, we hit calculate, and you can see to observe an effect, a medium effect, yeah and two tail tests just to test the difference between two groups you need 105 uh, participants in each group okay? you actually need a total of 210 participants across the experiment to observe a medium effect what about a large effect okay that should be easier to observe a large effect well you need a total sample size of 84 okay so you see what's going on here something that's really nice here as well in relation to this particular this particular uh, pro procedure is that let's say we want to determine the effect size so we know a priori so here I'm hitting determine let me just close the effect size drawer here so if I hit determine and well, here it's asking us, are the groups the same or are they different in size? Let's assume that they're the same size. It's asking me for the mean of the first group. Let's say the male scored 60%. Uh, let's say the female scored 65%. Let's say the standard deviation between both groups is, let's say, 10. Let's say 10 is the standard deviation between both groups. And now if we want to calculate the effect size, we just hit calculate. So we know this is an estimate. Let's say maybe we've done a small trial. Maybe we've taken some values from some research literature yeah, in relation to the, the means of the groups. Uh, and we're trying to uh, identify the actual effect size that these differences in the means actually represent. So let's hit calculate here. So when we hit calculate, oops. So when we hit calculate, the effect size is 0 0.5, yeah, okay? which is what we sort of said earlier on, a difference of 5% between groups uh, where a standard deviation of 10 overall is a medium effect size. And what we can do now here is we can transfer, using this down here, we can transfer this effect size and these parameters into this table here by hitting click transfer and it transferred these numbers over to here and now we can say calculate the power once again we need 210 observations 105 in each group okay? if we split the allocation ratio in other words if we want more in let's say if we want more in the first group well then let's split it down to 0 0.8 okay and let's hit calculate and you can see it says sample size of group 1 is 119 sample size of group 2 is 95 yeah okay still 214 participants required across the across uh, the, the, the the test and guys just finally let's have a look at the final uh, situation is where we have a dependent samples test okay so we have a dependent samples test uh, and here let's say it's two tailed uh, so we want to test the difference between two groups if the effect size let's say is 0 0.45 uh, the alpha is 0 0.05 and the power is 95 percent let's hit calculate here and this tells us the total sample size is 67 participants we require uh, this is a test a dependent samples test this is like where you had a pre and a post measure on the same individuals if we had 67 individuals and we measured them uh, before they came onto the course and then at the end of the course uh, measure their performance uh, well then for me to uh, observe an effect size of 0 0.45 which is just below a medium effect uh, and to be 95% confident if I do reject that I've rejected correctly and to observe that effect 95% of the time if it actually is there well then what we require is we require 67 participants uh, in the experiment.
Okay, guys, once again, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this video in relation to how to use G Star Power 3.1 uh, to estimate the sample, the required sample size for an experiment. Uh, I hope that this video was intuitive, and more importantly, I hope that was helpful for you. And thanks for watching.